Welcome back to Combat Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Jorge Hernandez, joined by Jody Esquivel. We're here at the round table. We've brought in a panel of experts. Each guy will have 30 seconds to weigh in on the subject that we have for them. They will get 30 seconds and that's it. So we can cut you guys off or we're gonna fight. Wow. You'll be finished. <laughs> oh, okay, I just added that rule in. But. Let's get the round table started. Joining us first, He's a longtime member of the New Mexico sports casting community, Van Tate. How long you been doing it? Oh, 21 years, man. You know, long time. And I'm, I'm impressed with the setup here. You know, like you guys off and running, huh? Yeah, well, thank you. Like it's it. a pleasure yeah. to have you. Well, thanks. Good being here, man. Yeah. To his right, James Lindenmuth, 610, the sports animal. When can people catch you on 610? Uh, every Thursday at 535 is when, uh, when we do our broadcast on MMA and boxing. And, uh, you know, we're the largest... Uh, sports talk radio station in the state and we're happy to have any listeners welcome back thank you next to him he's returning again I, <laughs> justin goodrum of the low blow mma boxing podcast welcome thanks for having me again appreciate it yeah but is this third time second time we have you third time third yeah. time third time's a charm i think you're tied with our champion micah <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna hit you guys hard right away new mexico who do you feel of the new mexico five is the next world champion so we, we're thinking John Dodson, you know, Holly Holm, Carlos Condit, Ray Borg. I mean, which one of those five well, individuals is going to be next? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be in between Condit and, oh, uh, well, gosh, man, that's a hard one. Because you start thinking Holly, Condit, and John Dodson, because all three of them are kind of right in the same spot. Holly, I think she'll move faster through the female ranks because I think she's underestimated. And, and her first fight, it was her first fight. It was her debut for a big organization so of course she's she probably had some nerves and stuff like that oh am i out already no you got you oh, got eight okay. seconds you have your tip count <laughs> so okay and john dodson he's due for a, a championship he was so close and carlos condit pick same thing pick which one okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go with carlos condit. all right we'll move okay. to you you know my heart i've got my heart in my brain my heart tells me carlos because i'm a long long time friend and fan i mean he's been on 610 with us when well before the UFC and he's always open for interviews, he's always open for charity events. My brain tells me John though. Um, John's got the skill and he's gonna have an opportunity I think before Carlos does. So John Dodson is where I'm at. Yeah, and Jay, I guess to switch it on, the question on you here a little bit, out of Ray Borg and Tim Means, you know, a couple of other guys from what people like to call the other gym, but a very formidable gym. Which of those two guys do you think can potentially make a run for the crown? Um, well, I said this a couple of weeks ago. I really like Ray Borg. I like the division he competes in just because there's not a lot of title contenders. So the USC is now putting together matchups that favor more marketable fighters, not necessarily who's deserving of the title shot. So in my mind, Ray Borg kind of fits in that description. And very three of the three Jacksons fighters? Uh, with Carlos and the rest of them? Yeah. Um, my heart's going Carlos. Okay. How about you? Ooh. You know, three of these people aren't from your gym, but I mean, we I'm cannot discount what the other two guys and Ray Borg and Tim Absolutely Means are doing. not. And I'm a complete fan of both Ray Borg and Tim Means. And Tim Means' last performance was unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. I so I that. think he's on the way up. I think Ray Borg is also on the way up. Um, I think that. But obviously, Jack the other three are ranked. Yes. So and I say that Jackson's MMA has three titles this year, whatever. Holly and, and John there and Carlos. Go. Yeah, see, Whatever. you didn't nail her down to one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I did that. Yeah. Pick one, pick one. Him, but yeah, yeah so, I got slapped on the feet. Yeah. <laughs> so move on to the next topic. Um, did the UFC blow it by not having Carlos Condit to return here in Albuquerque? I'll start with you, Jay. It's real interesting because the UFC strategy for 2015 is to lay out all the dates. Um, so Albuquerque's not on there yet. So we don't know if Albuquerque's even gonna get a UFC in 2015 or not. So I can't say for sure if, if it was a mistake, but if Albuquerque's on the radar, then for sure, I think easily he's a draw, easily he's on the card to sell out, so. Yeah, now the last two fight nights in Brazil have done less than 6,000 people. So if you know that's going to do better here, do you think, I mean, without a question, they should have had it here? Of course, yeah. Especially because him against Thiago Alves is not really gonna draw too many people to in Brazil, in my opinion. Yeah. Were you surprised at the fight, James, took is taking place with him and Tiago Alves in Brazil instead of here in America tough fight back I, I was surprised that it took them so long to come here in the first place to be perfectly Last honest because honestly it's a it's a sellout like and we've been talking about this on 610 for the last five years that if you bring especially when Diego was in his prime and Carlos was coming up 
you'd sell it out no matter what you did. So yeah, not only is it a travesty that they're not having his fight here, but it's a shame that they haven't been here before, you know, last year. Van, uh, do you remember, I mean, we hadn't had that big of a, I yeah. guess, of a fight here locally the last time they were here in June, the UFC. I think it's a missed opportunity for the UFC, not, not being a homer, but look at it. You talk about you're gonna have Carlos come back, his debut fight here. You try to maybe rush Holly back and have her on the card. That mm -hmm. thing sold out. You, that thing would sell out, I mean, quickly. Or, like in Albuquerque fashion, a walk-up crowd. You never know here. Right. They, they walk up to the day, you know, when Johnny Tapia in, in boxing, when he had a fight here once, and they had so many tickets left on the day of that the, the promoters were worried. Yeah. But the day of yeah. is when it sold out. I yeah. mean, they had they were so happy. They, oh, hey, yeah. Albuquerque is great. He took, some, he took some of your time there, but... Well, I mean, obviously, you'd like just to stay home. Just kidding. Well, I'm hoping. Mom was going to hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you disappointed? You know what? I am. I am just a, such a fan of Carlos. Yeah. I think he's, uh, I'm rooting for him no matter where he fights. Should it have been here in, in New Mexico? Absolutely. Yeah. But, and, um, I mean, unfortunately, it's not. It's going to happen in Brazil. Um, next topic, I guess the local scene is something I definitely want to speak to you about, uh, Van, especially what the local media needs from the local promoters a little bit more. There are a lot of times where we don't know that fights are even yeah. happening because we don't have something as simple as a press release sent to us. So your thoughts? Right. You know, who, uh, Jackson's gym has been good about letting us know when something's going on, but some of the other gyms in town, they, they won't tell us, and we don't know. Like, I had somebody like, calling out our sports, like, you guys only do one gym. You don't Look, we can't read your mind. You got to let us know that you have these fighters and this is going on. And so I think those are missed opportunities when they don't put out a press release or just make them make people aware that they are here because we can't read anybody's mind. Yeah. We, you know, we get information. And so uh, I think if they don't do a better job of uh, with, with the uh, press releases and stuff like that, that's their loss. Yeah. What do you think, James? Obviously, you know, social media, whether it be even a public relations exactly. department, it's hard yeah. because of the low budget a lot of these gyms have. Well, and I, and I kind of see it from both sides, you know, because I see it from the fan and the, and the announcing side, but also from the radio side. And he's absolutely right. You know, there is kind of a distance in, in the communication. I love, you know, your sports desk that you do. That's one. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. That's something that's easily accessible. Um, the, the Saturday show, the 610 does, the segment that we do, yeah. all easily accessible avenues that are cost free. So okay. just the, the gyms just have to let us know. Justin, you know, we constantly are digging for information sure. and, you know, almost, it's almost like pulling tooth and nail sometimes. So your thoughts? Right it is. Away. It's difficult. I think having a strong social media presence is important also using Facebook and Twitter. But like these guys said, I mean, the promotions that we cover usually send us a press release and the events that we don't know, we have no idea because we get no information at all. Yeah. So. And Jody, you're on the other side of that. So, I mean, are these things that you've even thought about since you're a fighter? Um, no, we don't think about that. And I, we, we really <laughs> don't. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. be really Jody, honest. Jody didn't even want to talk to the media. We're, we're just, no, I love, no, I would always love to talk to the media. But if it's not set up or, or there's not somebody saying, hey, hey, Jorge wants to come and do an interview with you, yeah. then, then it doesn't, you know, there's, there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to seek out and say, hey, Jorge, will you come and interview me? You know, like if you guys are, if they're there, absolutely, let's do it. You know, it only helps us. It help if with no fans, there's no fights. Like yeah. that's what we fight exactly. for, you know? Yeah. So there has to be some mutual agreement and outreach there. And I think more so from the gyms, but I'd like to thank you guys. You know, we tackled these three topics. This time flew by so okay. fast. Van, you took everyone's time. <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, wow. you know, that'll do it for this week. We'll make sure to have Van back. <laughs> but uh, Facebook, Twitter, make sure you guys check us out. Uh, next week, we'll have a few guests, another roundtable. So keep it tuned in. Combat Sports Weekly on Facebook. Pretty easy to find. See you guys next week. <laughs>